trees and branches that fell on electric wires contributed to the widespread power outages caused by Superstorm Sandy. JCPNL puts the tally at 65,000 trees. PSE&G estimates another 48,000 trees. Tree trimming rigs have tended to most of the downed trees, but there are still a few signs of Sandy's wrath in communities like Chatham, also known as a Tree City USA community. Most of the outages were all tree related. We had at least 60 to 75 trees that went down in the town, not to mention a lot of broken trees. Um, but so we got, we got hit hard by trees coming down this year, more than we had from last year. The storm has highlighted the importance of pruning and trimming trees to protect power lines. Utility companies typically trim trees on a four-year cycle based on guidelines set by New Jersey's Board of Public Utilities, but that policy is being reevaluated. We are trimming the tree limbs away to grow away from the wires, uh, so, and but with this storm, we may have to be even more aggressive with those policies. In the past, utility companies have faced some local opposition over their tree trimming programs, but Chatham Council President Jim Lonergan says the impact of Superstorm Sandy and last year's hard-hitting storms may have changed the mindset of some opponents. In the past, the, um, the uh, electric companies have come in and what we called butcher trees. We call it the L. They made an L out of it to get branches off. Uh, but we've been working hard with them over the last couple of years. And they've changed their policy and they've created what's in essence a V. Many communities like Chatham have shade tree commissions that oversee the maintenance and planting of trees. Chatham has stepped up its own tree maintenance program in recent years with positive results according to local officials. Our policies have changed. Pruning has become more and more important. Where we plant the tree and the policy of how we're going to plant a tree has become more important. It's from last year's storm taught us some lessons and I think we learned a lot from it. Of course, tree trimming isn't the only answer. Critics say overhead power lines should be put underground to protect them, which is the case in some new developments in New Jersey. But PSENG says putting overhead power lines underground isn't feasible in some communities, and it's no guarantee against power outages. For NJ Today, I'm Desiree Taylor in Chatham.